Guys, I bought an Xbox One X so that you don't have to. I mean, if you don't own one already. This is my first Xbox in my life. Never bought an Xbox before because there has just never been any exclusive games for any Xbox that caught my attention in the past. So why the hell did I buy one now? Well, I've always been under the impression that the Xbox is this sort of niche and weird console that is for all the people. I've always been on Nintendo's side and PlayStation's side, but it was about time that I delve a bit into all the things as well. And first impression, it's nice. It's not. I like the controller. If you have ever held an Xbox controller, there isn't much to complain about. I mean, I'm not too happy about the actual analog sticks, but everything else it fits so good into the hands. Very ergonomical. So basically, this is what the console looks like. I have the Xbox One X. Yeah, that's the title. <laughs> Oh my god, the naming of the Xboxes. Just Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One all of a sudden, and the side versions, Xbox One X. Isn't there one called Xbox One S as well? Never mind that. It is a big console, it is heavy. I like the controller, I like that it's black and matte. I also love the startup sound. So, I bought an Xbox for one reason. Game Pass. Game Pass is a monthly subscription thing that Xbox does. I have no idea why Nintendo and PlayStation are not doing it as well. I mean, PlayStation has PlayStation Now, but it isn't the same. It's like Netflix with games. That is the best description. It's like Netflix with games. You get to see all of these games that they have out on Game Pass, and that means when you have an active subscription, you can download whichever game you want from that. And there are hundreds of games. So when I bought my console, I picked up no games. I actually have an empty console. So Game Pass, all digital. I'm going wild. I'm going crazy with a Game Pass. So you know, I, I came home, I hooked it up, activated Game Pass, and you know what? I downloaded games and filled up the one terabyte with free games. You know, Netflix style, monthly subscription, free access to a bunch of, you know, hundreds of games. So I'm gonna go over some of the games that I have been playing on my new <laughs> Xbox. Now, I have never played a Halo game before. So I thought, now is the time. So of course I downloaded every Halo title. Well, not the, the spin-off series, but the mainline series like Master Chief Collection and Halo 5. I'm going blind into this. So, you know, I started playing number one. So I was playing that and actually one feature just amazed me the most and that was with the touch of one button press, you can change between the original graphics and the remastered graphics. I was so blown away by that. The game looks good, it feels really smooth. You know, I've been playing a lot of Destiny 2 and Bungie has created the Halo games. So I could really feel that it was a Bungie shooter. Felt really solid. I could really feel that. It was super smooth, fun. I also dipped into all of the other Halo games and they felt super smooth. All of them. So I'm really happy about my first impression with the Halo series. I love first-person shooters and they did not disappoint. Definitely need to play those more. Now, Halo is exclusive to Xbox and PC. You can't ever find these games or play them on Switch or PlayStation. I also started on Halo 5, but I'm gonna concentrate on the first games first. And another thing is that I've never played any Gears of War games either, so I downloaded Gears 5 and I started that. It's an okay first impression, but I need to play it more. It has very nice graphics though, that I can say. Now, a game that I really enjoyed. And it was the first game that I really enjoyed on Game Pass. There's a game called ReCore, and I had never heard about this game before. I'm gonna talk more about ReCore in another video, actually, so I'm not gonna touch too much into it now. But it is a third-person shooter, and it was 
really smooth. Uh, I liked it a lot. I liked the graphics and the setting. And I actually enjoyed the starting of the story as well. Now, Nier Automata. Everyone has heard about this game, I am sure, and if you haven't, now you have. It is officially now in my ever-growing backlog of games. It's just such a unique looking third-person action game, and I've only just started it, so I have yet to make up an opinion about Near Automata, <laughs> Near a Tomato, but it is a Platinum Games game. The people behind Astral Chain, you know, my most recent upload on my channel. My review of Astral Chain. Those people are behind this game. I really like the unique look of this game, so I'm looking forward to trying that more now. I actually played Sea of Thieves again. Because it is on Game Pass, and Ishaman and two of his friends, they were on a galleon sailing and stuff, they were playing Sea of Thieves. And I'm like, I'm gonna join you guys. So we had a lot of fun, you know, fun going back to that game, but um, yeah, it's Sea of Thieves anyway. So that is also on Game Pass. More games that I downloaded, they include Outer Wilds. That is not to be confused with Outer Worlds. It's a weird first person, I don't know what to call it, adventure game, RPG, something, exploration, weird. Anyway, I got a good first impression, so that is one that I want to play more. There's actually Fallout New Vegas on this thing too, so you know, I had to dip a bit into that <laughs> for nostalgia reasons. And another game that I downloaded is actually Sniper Elite 4. That is so worth it. I recently played Sniper Elite 3 on the Switch and I beat that game. And number 4 is just as good. If you ever enjoyed Sniper Elite 3, 4 is good. And it is on Game Pass, so you know. I played Subnautica a little bit, but I didn't get into it. There's also Two Point Hospital on this thing, even though I play that on PC and Switch and you know, everywhere. I've also started a save file on my Xbox because Two Point Hospital is just that good. I love that game. No Man's Sky. I finally tried No Man's Sky for my first time. Mm, confusing, but I like it, sort of, maybe. You know, I wouldn't recommend it, but I like it, maybe gonna give it more of a chance first. Astroneer, another like spacey, you so many spacey games on Game Pass. But Astroneer is just cute and I've had my eyes on it on Steam actually. I've had it in my wishlist on Steam for, a, I wanna say a bunch of years. But it is kinda hard to get into, a lot of things to learn because it is like a space building sort of game, sort of. Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie are also on Game Pass. I had to dip into those two. Fable. I do not recommend Fable on an Xbox because I felt that the frame rate stuff, the smoothness, wasn't so smooth. Play that on PC if you can. A strong PC if you can. But surprisingly, the game that I have played definitely the most is also the game with the smallest storage size. That is Forager. Forager is also out on Switch and PlayStation. And it is actually a fun pixel graphics, mining, collecting and crafting game. It is also made by one man. It has skills to unlock. You just mine a bunch of things, you know, resources. And then you spend the resources on like crafting benches. I don't know, I, I lost track of time with that game, so it was really fun. You know, lots of crafting stations, even to the point where it looks kind of messy. So, you know, all the games on Game Pass. There are actually quite a bit of other good games that I already have played on other systems. And they include The Witcher 3, The Outer Worlds, Rage 2, Minecraft Dungeons, Sirius Skylines, My Time at Porsche, Fallout 76, Dragon Quest XI is even also on Game Pass. So do I recommend getting an Xbox One X? I have no idea, you know. That depends on you. For Game Pass only, you could also try Game Pass on a PC, but if you don't have like a good PC. Yeah, 
maybe. But I don't know, like, Corona prices has pushed prices up on consoles. I'm under that impression when I was checking, you know, pricing. So, the Switch is also really expensive now. I think it's a Corona thing. So, the biggest pro of getting an Xbox is Game Pass, obviously. Like, Game Pass. That is a no-brainer. You are then able to just play or at least just try a bunch of games and get knowledge on a lot of games that people are talking about and you can say that you have tr at least tried a lot of the games without any big investment into it other than you know having the console in the first place and having an active game pass subscription there are a lot of xbox 360 games on the game pass list and another thing is that you can cross play with pc which is really nice only on xbox so, I don't know if you need one yourself, I mean, if you have a Switch, you're good, probably. PlayStation also, you're good, probably. But I thought it was fun, and I entirely did this for being able to try a bunch of games. So, you know, I'm gonna keep my Game Pass and use the console for exploring games. And it also just makes it easier for me to discover games that I normally wouldn't discover. So yeah, that was all for today, folks. Follow my Twitter and subscribe to my channel if you are new on here. Now, thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Join my Discord.